We're breaking out this time. On September 25th, PSU's men's soccer team played against University of Southern Maine in the Little East Conference. Plymouth State controlled the majority of play during the first half but could not find the back of the net. PSU had 13 shots compared to the three for the Huskies, but USM senior keeper David Krebs made seven of his nine saves in the first half but to keep the match scoreless. The Huskies needed only 45 seconds at the start of the second half to break the deadlock. The ball was sent into the box where McHugh knocked a header past Panther sophomore keeper Bjorn Olsen. USM extended its lead to 2-0 to 15 minutes later when senior Nick Johnson broke free to, on a breakaway and kicked the ball through Olsen's legs for a two-goal advantage. Krebs in the Husky defense, led by senior center back Chris Gasman, did the rest, keeping PSU off the scoreboard for the team's first shutout of the season. Later on in the day, PSU's women's volleyball team took on Colby Sawyer. After already defeating the University of Massachusetts Dartmouth 3-0, the girls were off to a good start. Colby Sawyer ended up winning the first match 25 to 22, but the PSU girls came back strong with a 25 to 18 win. Both teams played excellent offense and defense, keeping the 100 plus member crowd on their toes throughout all four matches. However, the next two matches were both won by Colby Sawyer College resulting in the defeat of PSU, 2 goals Wednesday afternoon to lead Plymouth State University to a 4-0 victory over Framingham State in the Little East Conference field hockey match up at Arnold Field. The Panthers controlled the game from wire to wire, out shooting the visitors 27-0. Junior Aaron Norris and freshman Natalie Harkins also tallied the first goals of the season as PSU improved to a 5-3 overall and 3-1 in conference play. Birmingham State dropped its second in a row and fell to 3-5 overall and 1-3 in the Little East. This is Joe Lepetro, Kimberly Cohier, and Shawn Michael Dunphy reporting for the clock. <laughs>